Hi, this is Eric from Medialon, and we're going to do a demo about how to add databases to your Medialon manager project. So the first thing that you're going to have to do is add a data source, and we'll do that within the Medialon manager or application. We're in V6 Pro, and we're going to use the Medialon database MXN, and I'm just going to make my device name DB. And we have to add a database source. So you can see that there's already a few that are built into your PC. Some of them don't have, some PCs don't have those added, some do. We're just going to go ahead and add a new one. And this is using the ODBC data source administrator of Windows. So open database connector, essentially. Uh, we're going to use the system DSN and add a file. And the type of file that we're going to be using in this example is a CSV file. So you could use any of these drivers that use a CSV extension. So that's what we'll do. And I'm just going to go ahead and name that one test CSV. And rather than using the current directory, which is going to default to uh, the application that called up the ODBC, I'm going to reference the uh, the desktop because that's where my file is at. So I just need to switch to users, Nate, desktop, and you can see that my dummy data CSV does exist there. All of the, the different uh, text files and whatnot uh, show up from that, uh, from that directory. So you can see all of those there. So that's it. We've added our, our data source and now it shows up here, test CSV in the device setup. Great. So now we have our device. Let's go ahead and look at variables of that device and go into debug mode and we'll just do a quick setup. So the first thing you have to do is connect to a data source. So once you connect to the data source, then you'll see that the status of the database device is ready. And then what you can do is get a table. And when you get a table, the, uh, the tables uh, variable updates with all of the available tables from that data source. So it's looking for text and CSV files in that directory and it says, oh, well here you go. And you can select your dummy data. And when I select that, now you can see that I have my field names populated. My field names, if we just look at this data uh, raw, in uh, Notepad++, you'll see that it's last name, first name, school, year, and unique ID. And there's a whole bunch of these in here. So that's the way that that data is structured. Um, but if we look at that data as a database, let's just go ahead and drag that database into the control panel. And we'll go ahead and do the same thing, get the table again so that it refreshes the command. Dummy data, test command, boom. So now we have all that data available in Manager, and we can search through that using standard SQL query commands, such as uh, select last name from, and then you have to add the name of the table, so dummy data dot CSV, and then give a condition where uh, first name equals Armando. Semicolon to, to end it. And now we see we have Montgomery. So if we just select this, instead of select last name, I want to select star. That's going to show me all the fields of that. And maybe instead of Armando, I want to show all Let's start, start with A, and then we have a wild card, which is a percent sign. So I don't have that. Ah, it's not equals. If you're using a uh, if you're using a wild card, you need to use the term like instead of the equals sign. Equals is looking for the specific value at percent sign or a percent sign, and that won't work for searching with a wild card. So there's a difference there. All right, so you can see that it's possible to sort, uh, to, to select data and search through it, but you can also, using SQL, order things. So I'm going to say order by uh, 
here. And you can see that we've now sorted ascending by year. Another thing you can do is add a descender on there. So now we're sorting in reverse order. So there's a lot of different ways that you can use SQL queries to sort through and reorder your data uh, and make it really easy to, uh, to find what you're looking for in a huge table. So now how do we use this concept within manager programming? So the first thing we're going to have to do is create a user screen. And in this user screen, I'm going to put a, a list. And I'm just going to call that list, um, list results. And here I'm going to have an edit box where I can type in my search term. And when I type in the search term, maybe we'll be doing a, uh, a, a, a type ahead. So as I'm searching through, I'll be searching for the last name. Let's, let's do that. Uh, so we'll go ahead and create a new variable called query. And that's going to equal select uh, first name, comma, last name from dummy data.csv where last name is like and we have to have a single quote but then we're going to add a, uh, a concatenated variable in here so that uh, requires us to end this string and add a variable that is that edit text and then we're going to add the end uh, the end of that is going to be the percent sign for the wild card and then close the quotation of the search term so we have single quotes around the search term so that it's happening single quote after the like and a single quote after the uh, the percent sign but then we have to use double quotes to close the first string and to open this second string. I'm going to go ahead and close this with a semicolon, meaning that that's the end of our search, and close the string with a double quote. So I don't have a query uh, variable yet, so let's go ahead and create that. And that's going to be a string. So that's what we're doing is we're first building a string that has our query in it and then we're going to send an SQL request and that request is going to use that query string that we just set and we're going to return the results into uh, the list object. So list results text is where we're going to dump all that. And this is going to execute every time edit to changes. So go into debug mode and we didn't actually tell the database to connect so we have to first tell the database to connect and then as you type this in see you see Jordan Carlson, Adara Crosby, Maida Cantrell, Adina Crosby so there's Adara Crosby and Adina Crosby that's interesting so if I just type CR now we're just going to get the Crosby's in there but if it was CA I'll get the Carlson and Cantrell so you can see we have this type ahead, so this will work with anything, so, but it is case sensitive. So Bell Baldwin, Britt, Bowman, Bradshaw, Blair, Burton, Bridges, if we do BR, we're going to get Britt, Brad, Bradshaw, Bridges. So this is a really fast way of sorting through lots of data uh, in your system. And that is the basics of how you would use uh, a database for looking up information uh, using Media Lawn Manager. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give us a call if you have any questions about how to uh, use this in your project.